at you. Uh, a, a whole lot. Thanks a whole lot. Um, I, you, how, how you feel? Pretty good. Ah, no. <laughs> I, I didn't mean that. It's just like, a, you know, I, like uh, to, to get that response. But because um, I just I just want you to feel comfortable because I am I'm the host and I, I like when people come in to feel comfortable. And we really don't have too many rules here, but I realize that people have rules in different situations. I went to someone's house uh, last night and uh, for dinner and the rule was you have to take your shoes off when you go in the house because they had carpeting that they didn't want to get messed up and everything, and so you have to take your shoes off. And I didn't mind that at all. I was actually, oh, fantastic. And some people had to hide the, the holes in their socks and all that stuff, because <laughs> you don't think anybody's gonna see it. You know, when you have that hole down there and you have to twist it between the two toes, <laughs> pull it and tuck it under, and, um, and I, have, I had good socks on, because I like socks. That's a big thing for me. I, I, I take a lot of pride for me to wear nice socks, it's to me socks are like uh, they're underpants for your feet, and um, <laughs> well they are. And so um, I put a lot of thought into my to my sock selection. I have a sock drawer, um, and and they're all situated. And I have to figure out when I get dressed in the morning. It depends. I don't know if you do the same thing, but like sometimes I'll match my shirt to my socks if I'm wearing jeans, um, or if I'm wearing certain color pants. If I wear like a khaki pants, I wear the khaki socks. Or sometimes I if I have too busy a shoe. Like today, I have a kind of busy shoe, so I have a, just a gray sock to blend in, because that would they would they would kind of compete with each other. And so, um, and sometimes I just like a sock so much I'll start with my socks. I'll just uh, I'll just be wandering around in my closet with my socks on, just just completely naked, trying to pick an outfit out all around my socks. attention to socks is sometimes if you just have a regular old outfit on and people don't really notice you when you sit down and you have a nice sock on a nice argyle a nice little stripe a little check or something you seem like a player <laughs> yeah and uh, so just a subtlety not a whole lot but just enough to that you see it's a nice sock you know some people are too proud of their socks the, uh, and, and there's too much sock going on too. the old men that have the huge long black socks <laughs> all the way up to the knee and Usually it goes with slippers. They're just in black socks and slippers and shorts. And uh, that's too proud of socks, if you ask me. But, um, and then there's always the embarrassing situation that you're getting dressed and you, you think you have the same socks on until you leave and you're in the light of day and you've got like a brown and a blue sock on and then you feel like a hobo. And, uh, and then also when you fold socks, some people b ball them up. You, you fold them and then you ball them into a ball, which takes up too much room for me. And also the one sock that becomes the baller. Um, uh, that's over the ball E. The baller is, is too stretched out and you've lost the elastic. And then you look like the girl in flash dance. Then you've got the, it's all hanging down. So what I do to keep my socks nice, a lot of the nice socks come on little hangers anyway, the little tiny, I've, I've built a little rack. I have a little, they all hang on the, in the, um, in my dollhouse. And, because uh, it's nice. If you have nice, because the socks, that's what you feel mostly. You don't feel your shoes, you feel your socks. So you never really need a new pair of shoes if you have new socks, because because it's how you feel on the inside that matters. So it isolates you from the, the shoes. And I actually recently, not too many people can say this, I met my sock maker. Um, <laughs> he's from Germany, his name is Falka. And uh, do you have the Falka socks? They, and they have the L and the R on the socks so you know which one to put on, which you don't have to obey, but I obey. And um, because the L is slanted in the way that you're supposed to wear it, and the R is, and so it's so easy, you don't have to make the decision. And, uh, but anyway, the point is, I was glad to take my, shoe, my shoes off that night at the house because it, it, I got to show off my socks because I had some nice socks on. Because to me, and this is the message today, what I'm getting to, today, <laughs> socks are the unsung hero. They're the unloved stepchild. They're the parsley on the entree. And uh, the socks are the wind beneath my wings. <laughs> Yesterday, uh, uh, Omar Edwards was on the show, the tap dancer from Showtime at the Apollo. And if you didn't see it, he, he basically, he tap dances um, 
we, we decided to have them tap, tap dance the guests off because sometimes I have a hard time ending the interview for a commercial. It's really rude to interrupt somebody in the middle of a story and say we have to go to commercial. So we decided Omar would tap dance people off the way he ushers people off on stage at Showtime at the Apollo. So, because um, I really think that's a good idea. We had to give him back to Showtime at the Apollo, but I feel like I need help. Even if we had a bell, like in the boxing rings, when, the, when their time is up, ring a bell or something, because, <laughs> and have a ref go grab the guest and pull him away from me. <laughs> stop your story. I can't stop you. So, um, so anyway, so, so this is what happened. So um, Omar is starting to dance, and Andy Lassner, our supervising producer, who constantly gets us into trouble. We talk about him all the time. There he is right there. Um, sweet enough guy. And um, so anyway, here's what happens. He gets trapped and watch him try to become invisible when this happens. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so back it up. And just watch how he, he decides to hide is, is by putting his hand in front of his face thinking, well, if... I can't see you, you can't see me. <laughs> All right, so this is what you saw. So that's what, that's what aired on TV yesterday. But, but so this is really, we had another angle that we, didn't, we di didn't show, obviously. But there were all these people here. Look at all the people that were in the way. And the camera had to move. Q -Q everybody had to move. And here's Andy right here. And watch everyone scramble and watch him. And, and you were a tap dancer or every kind of? It was the chorus, you know. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Gazelle, you'd be dead in the wild. <laughs> you'd never survive. Um, we love you, though. But uh, so my question to you is: is uh, it's, it happens all the time, too? How come you're on TV? You're always in the shot somehow. Um, which also is an, we should start that segment. How come you're on TV? Because we have another segment called "How come you're not on TV," and uh, that's a segment where we're trying to encourage more people to send in tapes of. of any kind of talent, some kind of unique talent. We don't care if you're a singer, we don't care what you do, but we want to encourage people to send in tapes um, of themselves. And uh, nothing gross, nothing dangerous, just send in some tapes. We got tapes of little girls, we got tapes of a little drummer guy that was adorable. So anyway, you never know, you may end up on the show. You never know. So uh, anyway, so that's, that's that. And um, also, uh, and go onto the website if you wanna, if you wanna figure out how to, to do this. Um, we talk about this all the time. We have great dancers in the audience. Before the show starts, people dance. We don't ask them to. They just dance. They just... And we never know how they're going to dance. We no, never know what kind of dancers we have in the audience. Um, and today we had some good ones. Today we had... We don't usually turn it around this fast, but uh, we had such good ones that we thought we would show you. Um, Let's take a look at, at some of the dancers today. Well, here's, here's this woman right here. She's, uh, oh, here she goes. She keeps slapping herself. I, she, woo, woo, oh, there she goes. There she goes. All right, here's a robot. She's actually doing the robot, which is very serious. Um, <laughs> now she joins her. She joins in. Oh, how about I'll join in with you? All right. Okay. <laughs> totally. Uh oh. Uh oh. like it's going to be the one up, the one cheek kiss. All right, that's good. All right. 
You can catch our first guest each week as the butt-kicking secret agent on ABC's Alias, and she currently stars in the new hit movie 13 Going on 30. Have a I saw it last Thanks. night. Thanks. Thank You're... you very much. Now, did you know how to do the thriller dance before? Or did you have to learn the I whole mean, choreography? I mean, I remembered. We all watched the thriller dance. So it's pretty easy to remember. But yeah, we had a couple of serious rehearsal days. My co star, Mark Ruffalo, bless his heart. He was, I was a ballet dancer growing up. So I was used to learning choreography. Yep. And I learned choreography all the time, fighting. But Mark, he had a rough time. I had to give him some pep talks. But he was good. Oh, he was great. Oh, he did, I think he did a little extra credit. Uh -huh. Like, I think he was at home with his wife and his son kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> and you could see him counting out loud, you know? And you could see them and he like, he would be like, one and two and up and up and <laughs> roar. <laughs> Uh, now I gotta see it again. Well, yeah, of course. He's so good. He's adorable anyway. Oh, I like him in everything that he every does. Every single thing. But y'all are really good together. You're, uh, you're fantastic, and everybody's talking about you being the new big movie star. It's, it's bound to happen. You're, and I know you're exhausted, because you know when these movies come out, you must be going like crazy. Well, the fun thing for me is that the movie is this much, you know, we're, we're shooting the finale of Alias, so we worked all night last night. Now, right after this, I'm going to shoot the last night of the third season. It's a big, great fight. It's so, it's so fun. So it kind of keeps everything in balance. Nothing feels too heady or crazy. Keeps everything in balance? It, it, it sounds like everything is just <laughs> <a> huge. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you don't get too overexcited about the movie. You don't, you know what I mean? Right. No, no, nothing's in balance. No, yeah. I just go to work, but yeah. Because that's you, fine. We'll leave that for another. Now, what leave is that for Oprah? For instance, you said you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so you, you say you work yesterday. Like, what kind of hours do you work on Alias? Do you really want to know this? Um, I. No, leave it for Oprah. All okay. right. <laughs> It's just like, it's just, it sounds, it sounds bad. But I, I got up and worked out yesterday um, and kind of, I'm um, uh, in the afternoon. And then I worked from five o'clock at night until seven o'clock this morning. Wait a minute, you and worked out and you did that? Well, because I had a fight to do last night, so I had to be warm uh -huh. or else. I know, I know, believe me. I don't me. know how, I mean, I'm complaining that I don't have time to work out and I come and sit down for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and you're, you're, now, what, well, we'll leave that for Dr. Phil. All right, so. <laughs> I don't know what to ask you. All right. <laughs> so, but let's, let's talk about the movie because I really do like it. It has oh, a good. good message and, uh, and it's you're. It's fun, isn't it? Yes, Doesn't it's it really good. Just, happy and it makes you realize that that certain decisions you make are very important as, as right you're always you're always making decisions no matter how small they seem to kind of figure out who you're going to be you're mm -hmm. always evolving and it's never too late to fix anything right especially if you have fairy dust yes i was going to say especially <laughs> if you have fairy dust which uh you know it, it really is it's a it's a beautiful little movie Do we, it's, it's romantic don't you think oh it's very romantic yeah, yeah. it's yeah. And, and like I said, you're, you're great in it, and Mark's great in it. Everybody is. Thank Everybody's you. really good. And that scene, the thriller dance scene uh, <laughs> towards the end of the movie is great. Oh, good. Really good. Thank you. All right, so um, now this is, this is you <laughs> at, at 13, right? Yes. Are you 13 here? Uh, I might be a little older, but that's representative of the entire. Okay. <laughs> Tim Meadows was on yesterday, and he, he played saxophone also. Um, so, it's a fine instrument. Oh, look what you end up doing. If you play saxophone, you end up in the business. Um, this is the way everyone gets in, mm -hmm, saxophone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, sax will get you everywhere. And uh, a phone. Right. Um, so, all right, so were you cool? Or? Yes. Um, was I cool? No, no, I was not cool, Ellen. I was a, I was a disaster. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> I was a... 
band geek. Um, I was such a band geek that I started the pep band because I felt bad for the basketball players. And I uh -huh. was like, let's get in there and give them hang on Sloopy, you know? Uh -huh. um, but I was a happy nerd. Like, the, bands, the band geeks hung out together, so we, mm -hmm. were, we weren't stressed about the fact that we were, you know, outcasts. And did you, did, well, did you date or did you... Uh, um, eventually, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, when I was about 16 or 17, it took a while. Uh huh. It took a while to get that ball rolling. Uh huh. So but. now, because what's the situation where you were going to uh, uh, your first party and you were trying to fix your <laughs> hair? When I was 12-ish, uh, I went to my first boy-girl birthday party. It was Amy Fredrickson's birthday party, and I was so excited because this guy that I had a crush on was going to be there, and. I used to sleep in sponge rollers, the pink sponge rollers, but I didn't have time, you know, it was the middle of the day, so I thought, I know, I'll wash my hair and dry it and then set it in sponge rollers and sit under the dryer just to make sure it's extra special good. When, when I took myself out of the dryer after three hours with like a tomato red face, and I took them down, half were straight and half were curly, <laughs> but like curly, like, you know, <laughs> it was, it didn't occur to me. I didn't know how to fix it. I just went, you know, I just uh, went to the party. Oh, that's oh, horrible. Oh, it was so sad. I just think about that myself that day. What a and you went to the party anyway with your hair straight affairs. and then curly? Straight and curly. Just oh. kind of like, Hi. Oh. you know. We played spin the bottle. Oh, Nobody no. Nobody wanted to kiss me. That's terrible. Oh. Well, we'll leave that for Queer Eye. But um, <laughs> <laughs> we have to take a break. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> Good. That's the extraordinarily talented Jennifer Garner. You, you're, you really, you're so talented, and everybody is just talking about how you're going to be the next huge big thing, the next big movie star, you, and you are. I tell you that right now. Um, so, and um, all right, now on Alias, uh, this you you hadn't even seen this. You were looking no, at this during the commercials. Um, these dolls are so rare. We had to get it from the guy who makes them. They don't. It, they are so hard to find. Isn't um, that bizarre? This is you. To see yourself as a doll. And Michael Vartan, your your co-star, and uh, you know him, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, is your boyfriend. People know, I guess. Do y'all have a wheel like this at home that you spin to try to decide? <laughs> we, we can do hold... actually. Yeah. Okay. Curtsy. We. I curtsy a lot. Uh, so now you're doing, this is, I'm just impressed with you. You just, you're, you're so you do all these accents too when you play the, the Languages and accents, yeah. yes. Now yeah. what, what else do you speak? What other languages? Uh, gosh, we've done, I only remember a few of them, like Japanese, Koko wa watashi ni mukase te How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> let's, um, let's hear it. Well, koko ta ka to ka ta ka. Really good. Thank you. What did you just yeah. say? Say it again. I said, uh, or Cantonese. Logan, Logan, no hayo hak, no you I need to hayo yo go, no hencho de fang. I don't know what you could be saying anything. That yeah, I was. Well, I was actually. What I was did you say? I'll speak. I'll speak. I'm a tourist. I'm going into the tourist building. I I was wrong or something like that. And you, I knew at one point. You uh, you learn this and it comes that, that and you hold on to it. You actually, no, I so drill it into my head that three years later I can sit here and spit it out. Wow. <laughs> How do you say no sweet and sour? Mm, no sweet and sour, please. <laughs> very good. Yeah, very good. All right. So, and you're you're going to work from here. And uh, where do you shoot, Alias? Tonight we're in Chatsworth. Mm -hmm. But where do you? Woo! <laughs> Chatsworth. We shoot at the Disney at the Disney lot right next door. You should come by. I would. Now, and also, uh, that's a great lot. So, I, how do you get around there? What do you do? You you walk all around there, or? Oh, my pink bike. Yeah, I, that's. I have a. A pink bike that J.J. Uh, Abrams, who created Alias, gave me two years ago for my birthday, and I ride it. <laughs> I ride it everywhere. I ride it in wigs, in dresses, in skirts. Like I'll just hike my skirt up and just get on that bike, and and it has two bells, and a basket, and you have like streamers and stuff. I don't, but I have been looking. I, I need to get some streamers. It needs streamers, but it has yeah. a license plate from West Virginia. That That's says, where you're from? Yes. Yeah. Well, you don't need streamers. I like streamers. Well, you don't need them because we got them for you. We stole your bike and we have it right here. <laughs> oh, and thank you. Oh. It's oh. Ellen. Oh. Hello, oh. Ellen Streamers. They're <laughs> Ellen Streamers. Yeah. And a new bell. That's right. 
And sometimes, like at five in the morning, I'm the first one on the Disney lot, and as the crew members start to come in, I've already, you know, I've already been up, I've had coffee, and I ride around the lot and go, good morning! <laughs> and, the, and the crew of the, the Pirates of the Caribbean, a year ago or so, they were like, seriously, kiddo, we're gonna steal that bike from you. If you <laughs> ring that bell one more time. Oh, it's great that oh, you ride this around. You. So we got your little streamers, these. and if there's anything else you want, you let us know, and we'll get it for you. Oh. All right. Thank you for How are having you? me. It's good to have you here, Thank always. You. You're Thanks. so funny and Thanks. so sweet, and uh, I'm you, glad to have you here. What's, what's, what, what, we'll get to the other stuff later, because that was hilarious. Wait, do you know Ellen gave me my start? Can I just say that? Ellen gave me my start in 1996 as her neighbor, Tad, in her old show, Ellen. And I used to dance. Yeah. Yes. Well, I feel smart. <laughs> I feel like I spotted talent. You were hilarious. You made me laugh all the time on the show. Thank you. I had to, I, I, I'm not good at, and you'll see later on, it was so hard for me to keep a straight face when I came out and tried to be a part of this because I thought, I'm going to laugh. I'm not going to make it. And you're in a ridiculous outfit. Yeah. But anyway, we'll, we'll talk about that later. So what have you been up to before we get to that? Well, here's something funny. I just came from, I was filming a movie in Australia. It's uh, Mask 2, which is the sequel to The Mask. Mm -hmm. And on my way back, I went to Bora Bora, okay? So if you don't know Bora Bora, it's like this tiny little island. To get there, you gotta fly to one island, and you take a boat to another island, then you take a bus, like through like, like jungles, okay? And you go to this tiny little resort. There's like... a direct flight, you've been X'd. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go ahead. But there's, there's this little hut all around the beach, and this like resort was supposed to have like a few books to read. And I'm looking around and they didn't really have any books. And the islander goes, oh, uh, yeah, I have one little book for you. Here you go. I go into this hut. I go back in this back house. And the book is, well, the funny thing is by Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of this little island in Bora Bora, it's your book. And they're like, Ellen likes to drink a lot of scotch. <laughs> <laughs> Which is weird. I don't know why. That's but. hilarious. He had my book. Yeah, it's in Bora Bora. You are huge in Bora Bora. I've got to go yeah. there. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, it was it was really funny, and I read it, and oh. I know all about your drinking. And, Thank you. Oh. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's it's not it's facetious. It's not it's not serious. Oh, okay. It's all fictitious. You know, it starts in denial, Alan. But okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do what? It starts in denial. <laughs> so wait, so you were in in Australia doing, and and how was that? That's supposed to be beautiful, Australia. Yeah, it's cool. Um, they get like the, Australia is different than Los Angeles because you know, like in Los Angeles, you can kind of throw your teeny bit of celebrity around, like, even if you're a B celebrity like myself or whatever. You kind of go in. In Australia, you're like. Hey, uh, I have a table, last name is Kennedy. And they're like, uh, no, I don't have you here. <laughs> and you're like, um, well, I'm kind of the Jamie Kennedy experiment, it's a TV show. No, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I have a table for Aston Kutcher, but uh, <laughs> they just, they really, they, they hated me. No, they didn't they hate, hate you. I don't know. Do they know who you are? Not really. Well, they, but they're supposed to be lovely people. They are, but they, you know, they eat too much Vegemite and things happen. No, <laughs> you don't mean that. All right, they're great. You know All what? Right, I good. loved it. That was wonderful, and God bless Australia, and I love Nicole Kidman. Good. That's the way we end it. <laughs> yeah, That's the way we go to commercial here. <laughs> yeah. We'll be right back. That's right. Back to Jamie Kennedy. Okay, so here's what happens. Before the show starts, uh, Tony plays music, the audience comes in, and people just dance, and, and, and they just have fun, and they just dance while, while music plays. And sometimes we find interesting people and sometimes we looky loo them. So what we did was, uh, since Jamie does what he does, we thought it would be fun for him to find some people who wouldn't recognize him and, and, uh, and pretend like this is all set up, that nobody really dances like this, that it's all planned and all thought out and they're all told exactly what to do. So uh, we'll... Uh, and we basically got these three women. Well, you had four and one... You well, we had four and one... One caught on to you, I think. We had four and one recognized me, so we kind of ushered her out before she <laughs> told the other three. She was looking at my mustache, kind of weird. And now we have these other three women, and I told them uh, what's going on, how we looky loo, and I told them what dances I think they should do. Well, first of all, I said, I'm concerned that someone would look at you and think that that's okay for someone to look like you, because <laughs> you were strange looking. And so yeah. anyway, all right, so, so 
this is what happened. We were in the control room watching. I ran out to pretend like I was part of it, and I thought I would laugh. But anyway, here we go. Keep talking and stuff. How are you? You know how we have people just having a good old yes. time yeah. going? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yes. OK. Well, that's all fake. <gasps> really? Yeah. No, that that's is, us? That is With all. the fake ones? Well, the thing is, is that Ellen doesn't even like to dance. You know, you know. She's, no, she's, she's such a great dancer. It. She's a great dancer, but she hates it. She does it to have a good time. Oh, that's mm -hmm. great. She wants to get ratings. <laughs> but, but you know, <laughs> what we're trying to do is you guys are gonna be our, you know, people. Oh, okay. okay. But we're the, gonna be to get the people decoys. Going. Yeah, we want you guys to be the thing is exactly decoys. <laughs> you can't tell anybody okay. oh, that no. the dancing isn't real. Oh, okay. I, see. I see. You can't. So we wanna just like Rehearse a few moves with you. You can't even tell your friends. Okay. 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 You're gonna sign a confidentiality agreement. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. So let me just take this through with you one more time. So can you do this? But you gotta exaggerate it and make it very stiff. But you can't smile. You have to be very serious. Okay. Like this. Yes. That's good. Even exaggerate even more. Even more. That's good. Okay, now you're gonna do the funky chicken, so you're gonna be like. <laughs> Remember, don't smile too. This is great. And we're gonna saddle girl, okay? And smack, 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 no, 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 so, Great. have fun. Great. All right, bye. Okay, Jonathan, I'll talk to you later about that. Enjoy it. Ellen's going to love you. Great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, and ladies, if your friends ask you where you were, you were in here, they were going to do something, but they decided not to do it. Remember, tight lips, don't sink chips. They keep them afloat. Don't say nothing there. Thank you. Ellen's going to love you. Audience, while before the before the show started, this is them totally committed to it. While the uh, the audience, you see people behind them laughing at them. But watch, <laughs> this is them as the as they're going. <laughs>